The 2018 International Champions Cup is coming to the United States of America once again, with the schedule released on Tuesday. Live, stream every place game, Manchester City, Manchester United, Tottenham and Liverpool will all be heading on US tours this summer. Below is a look at the schedule for each Premier League club heading stateside. Back in the States, United States the 20th of July, City v Dortmund at Soldier Field Stadium, Chicago the 25th of July, City v Liverpool at MetLife Stadium, New York City the 28th of July, City v Bayern at Hard Rock Stadium, Miami. July 20th Benfica vs. Sevilla, 2 p.m. Zurich, Leipzig Rund, Borussia Dortmund vs. Manchester City, 9 p.m. Chicago, Soldier Field, July 21st PSG vs. Bayern Munich, 12 p.m. Klagenfurt, Austria, where their sea stadium, July 22nd, Borussia Dortmund vs. Liverpool, 4 p.m. Charlotte, North Carolina, Bank of America Stadium, July 25th, Bayern Munich vs. Juventus, 7 p.m. Philadelphia, Lincoln Financial Field, Liverpool vs. Manchester City, 8 p.m. East Rutherford, NJ. MetLife Stadium, Benfica vs. Borussia Dortmund, 8 p.m. Pittsburgh, Heinz Field, Roma vs. Tottenham, 10 p.m. San Diego, SDCCU Stadium, AC Milan vs. Manchester United, 11 p.m. Pasadena, Calif. Rose Bowl, July 26, Arsenal vs. Atletico Madrid, 7.30 a.m. Singapore, National Stadium, July 28, PSG vs. Arsenal, 7.30 a.m. Singapore, National Stadium, Sevilla vs. Chelsea, 11 a.m. Warsaw, Poland, PG Inuradawi, Juventus vs. Benfica, 1 p.m. Harrison, NJ, Red Bull Arena, Manchester United vs. Liverpool, 5 p.m. Ann Arbor, Michigan. Michigan Stadium, Manchester City vs. Bayern Munich, 8 p.m. Miami, Hard Rock Stadium, Tottenham vs. Barcelona, 11 p.m. Pasadena, Calif. Rose Bowl, July 30th Atletico Madrid vs. PSG, 7.30 a.m. Singapore, National Stadium, July 31st Real Madrid vs. Manchester United, 8 p.m. Miami, Hard Rock Stadium, Tottenham vs. AC Milan, 8.30 p.m. Minneapolis, U.S. Bank Stadium, Roma vs. Barcelona, 10 p.m. Arlington, Texas, at Inter Milan, 1 p.m. Gothenburg, Sweden, Alevi Stadium, August 4th Chelsea vs. Arsenal, 2 p.m. Stockholm, Friends Arena, Real Madrid vs. Juventus, 6 p.m. Landover, MD. FedEx Field, Barcelona vs. AC Milan, 8 p.m. Santa Clara, California. Levi's Stadium, August 7th Inter Milan vs. Sevilla, 1 p.m. Lecce, Italy, Stadio Via Del Mar, Real Madrid vs. Roma, 8 p.m. East Rutherford, NJ, MetLife Stadium, August 12th Atletico Madrid vs. Inter Milan, 2 p.m. Madrid, Estadio Wanda Metropolitano, Asmai Dembele definitely didn't expect to wait until April for his first La Liga goal when he signed from Borussia Dortmund for nearly $150 million last summer. After an assist on his La Liga debut, in the Barcelona Derby and on a feed to Luis Suarez no less, the 20-year-old has faced two significant muscle injuries and just plain bad luck for the Blaugranis. More, Neymar speaks on World Cup with assists in four of his last seven league games and a first Barca goal against Chelsea in the UEFA Champions League last month. The league goal was coming, although you'd be forgiven for thinking it wouldn't be on a night with Lionel Messi and Suarez on the bench. Barca is now unbeaten in 40 league matches after the Tuesday's 2-2 draw with Celta Vigo, and has 12-point lead on Atletico Madrid. Atleti has played one less match. Follow at Nicolas Mendola Sao Paulo AP, Brazilian star Neymar expects to be in better shape at the World Cup in Russia than he was before his foot injury. The Brazilian forward said on Tuesday that while it has been hard to miss a crucial part of the season because his first major surgery, the bright side is that he will be well rested when soccer's showcase tournament begins on June 14. Reports, Pogba to be sold, I will have enough time to get to the World Cup in good shape and prepare myself, Neymar told journalists during an event for one of his sponsors in Sao Paulo. He arrived using crutches and asked to be seated as quickly as possible when he was on stage. I expect to get there better than I was, he said. There are doubts, of course. I feel that too, but that is normal for someone who got injured. It has been hard not to play in practice, Neymar also said he will have his last post-surgery medical exam on May 17, and could be available for Brazil's training sessions that start May 21 near Rio de Janeiro. 
the Paris Saint-Germain striker had surgery in March on a cracked fifth metatarsal in his right foot. The Brazilian also said it was hard not to be with his PSG teammates to celebrate their French league title on Sunday. It is very bad to see my team score, win a title and I am not able to be there. But my health is above this, he said. Asked about players who could have a great World Cup, aside from himself, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar did not single out any of his PSG teammates. Philippe Coutinho and Gabriel Jesus will make a difference, for Brazil, I hope. Mohamed Salah doesn't play for a famous team, but could have a good World Cup. Eden Hazard, Kevin De Bruyne, Luis Suarez too, he said. I am glad to be part of a team that is the strongest, that has the skills to win. Man UTD won 1-0 at Old Trafford on deck. 13 United 5-0 after losses this season Man UTD leads all-time 8W3D2L Manchester United looks to get off the mat after a stunning home loss to West Brom which I'll be in at the weekend when it visits Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium on Wednesday, watch live at 2.45pm. ET on NBCSN and online via NBCSports.com. Manchester United rebounded from its previous five losses by a combined score of 10-2. Watch live, online, here this is United's match in hand on Chasers Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur. The Red Devils 71 points better as Liverpool by one and Spurs by three. Bournemouth would like to finish top half and enters the day three points back of 10th place Newcastle United despite playing one more match. What they're saying Bournemouth's Simon Francis on the club mindset, we are in our third season in the Premier League and don't go into games being too naive anymore. I think you can be a victim of that in your first season because you don't know what to expect at times. Manchester United's David De Gea on rebounding from WBA loss, it was a tough one to take. It was a real blow and we're all a bit down. It was such an unexpected defeat. But the good thing is we have got a game coming right up on the back of this defeat. It's a real chance to lift ourselves and get back to winning ways. Prediction a Red Devils rebound, though a second-tier team just gets over the line in a 2-1 win. Follow at Nicolas Mendola barring a miraculous finish to the season in the West Midlands, West Brom which Albion is headed back to the championship. Recap, Brighton 1-1 Spurs, Stoke City and Southampton need a lot of help to avoid their fates, too, in what was once an incredible logjam in the race to avoid the drop. How can relief come to the Potters and Saints? Well, to get alliterative, winning in Wales. Both sides face Carlos Carvalhal Swansea City, whose five-point advantage on both could shrink with consecutive matches against Man City and Chelsea before Bournemouth and the aforementioned battlers. Huddersfield is seven points clear but has a rough run-in, facing Man City, Chelsea, and Arsenal over the final eight days of the season. We'll include them, but the Terriers' desperation could be enough against at least one of those sides, only Arsenal could have their European qualification in jeopardy if Burnley stays hot and Atletico Madrid knocks the Gunners out of the Europa League. Crystal Palace 34 points, and West Ham 35 could still be dragged into the fray by losing out and seeing Stoke, Saints, or Swans get hot, but the focus should be on those teams in 17th, 18th, and 19th as of post-time. Let's take a look at the run-ins for the teams still without solid footing for the 2018-19 Premier League season. Stoke City, 28 points, 4 matches left minus 33 GD Sunday versus Burnley April 28th at Liverpool May 5th versus Crystal Palace May 13th at Swansea City Southampton, 28 points, 5 matches left minus 20 GD Thursday at Leicester City April 28th versus Bournemouth May 5th at Everton May 8th at Swansea City May 13th versus Manchester City Swansea City, 33 points, 5 matches left, minus 19 GD April 22nd at Manchester City April 28th versus Chelsea May 5th at Bournemouth May 8th versus Southampton May 13th versus Stoke City Huddersfield Town, 35 points, 4 matches left, minus 27 GD April 28th versus Everton May 6th at Man City May 9th at Chelsea May 13th versus Arsenal Saints perhaps have the most hope and will likely be ahead of Swans on goal differential and two points behind if it can win a derby versus Bournemouth. It would then have to win at Swans, hope Stoke does the same, and minimize damage at the hands of a Man City side playing out the string at a what would be a raucous street. Marys. Follow at Nicolas Men